Putting a real baby on CPAP is sometimes a little more challenging than a doll, especially if they are moving around a lot. Start by getting the machine ready. Put water into the bottle to 6 centimeters of pressure. This trap is to hold the bottle. Attach the tube from the top of the bottle to the machine. Then attach the tube which will go to the baby. Make sure the CPAP machine is on and that the total flow is at 6 litres per minute. Then attach the tube that will go from the oxygen concentrator to the outlet marked O2 on the machine. This baby is very small, so the oxygen is set at 3 litres per minute. Now assemble the prongs at the end of the tube going to the baby. This baby will use the smallest size. Then check that everything is working by pinching the prongs. These should make the water bubble. They should be bubbling there in the bottle. It is very important that the air and oxygen are already flowing before you attach the baby. Otherwise, you will block their breathing. It is now time to attach the baby. First of all, put on the hat. Make sure you have everything you need in easy reach. If another nurse is free, it's a good idea to get them to help. This baby keeps pulling out his oxygen. But the ideal is that the oxygen stays in for as long as possible. Only once the hat is on do you take out the oxygen to moisten the nostrils with saline solution. Now put in the prongs to be sure they fit and measure where the clip needs to go on the hat. Put the clip into the brim of the hat and attach the tube. Do the same on the other side. At this point, we need only two now make degrees. sure that the prongs are properly placed in the nostrils and that the water is bubbling. You can make adjustments if you need to, so that the prongs are held in place. You need to keep a good eye on the machine to make sure the water stays bubbling, as this is the best way to tell if the baby is receiving air and oxygen. If it is not bubbling, not then make bubbling. sure the prongs completely fill the baby's nostrils. If it's still not bubbling, is there a kink in the tube? Or it might be badly connected? If the prongs are well placed and the machine functioning correctly, but the water still does not bubble, you may need to position the baby to improve the airway opening. You do the same thing as during emergency resuscitation. Place a small roll of cloth, blanket or pillow under the baby's shoulders. This is anyway the best position for the baby to breathe. 